Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to AKT Developers. So, in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create an Arc Navigation View in Android Kotlin. So, what does it mean? We will create this type of navigation view in our today's tutorial. As you can see, this is my profile image and that is my cover image at the background. This is my name and this is my website or you can call it mail id or whatever you want. And here I am having some options. When I click on any of the option, it goes to different fragment. So, this type of navigation uh, layout we will create in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and let's create a new project. Let's give it name as Arc navigation and select your domain name from here location of your project and include kotlin support because we are going to code our application in kotlin language click on next select your android api version from here and click on next now from here we need to select the layout file which we need for our application as we are working with navigation drawer so we will use navigation drawer activity click on next and after finish Now it will take some time to set up your project, wait until that. As you can see my project has been created successfully. Let's change our project structure to project and let's uh, see where is our programming files, go to main and java. This is my main activity, this and in resource files go to layouts. And these are my layout files. Let's go to activity underscore main.xml. As you can see, our navigation drawer has been created. But this is our normal navigation drawer. We are working with Arc Navigation View, right? So we will do that. Here, one more XML file we are having that is content main. So I will explain to you what uh, each layout file contains. Before that, Let's run, the uh, let's run the application and see what output it gives. As you can see, this is our application. And when we click on navigation drawer, it is appearing this type of navigation drawer. So let's start creating our Arc navigation drawer. So, in order to create an Arc Navigation Drawer, we need to use some external library. So go to Chrome and this is our library which we are going to use today. Uh, I will give you a link of this library in description. Using this library, we can create this both type of layouts and in type of navigation drawer, whichever you want. So, and here all the source code has been given with the sample project. So, we need to include a library to our project. So just copy this library and go to our project and go to build.gradle file go under the dependency section and paste it here and then sync your project after successfully syncing go to uh, close this gradle file and go again go to your library and from here you can this uh, see this, this code source code of arc navigation view right so just copy this code and go to main activity and paste it in place of here. After doing that, your Arc Navigation View has been created successfully. Let's run the program and see if it is created or not. As you can see, our project is up and running, and when I click on this corner button, our Arc Navigation has been appeared. But as you can see, our Arc uh, Navigation is inside uh, direction, right? So we can change the crop direction by changing here crop inside to crop outside. And if we again run our program, it will show a different output. Now, as you can see, our Arc Navigation has been changed to outside cro direction crop, right? So in this way you can create a cropped uh, arc navigation view for navigation layout right now let's animate this arc navigation 
how we can do that. So for that, we need to go to navheader.main.xml file. In this file, you can see you can see the cover page of your application and then the views that we that are appearing on our, your cover page and your profile image, right? So let's change it and animate it a little bit. Here I have downloaded some in images from the Google. I'll copy this both the images and paste it into my pro project in drivers folder. As you can see, my both the images are pasted here, right? IMG and IMGS images. So I am changing my cover image. Let's give uh, let's give the cover image as IMG. And as you can see, my cover image has been changed. Let's change my profile picture. But we need to change this layout. So let's give it width as 100 dp and height as 100 dp. Let's change the padding to 6 dp and let's change this text to middle star. That is my name. And let's change the color of my. Let's change the size to 18 dp and let's do the same editing with our your email id let's give it color as color white and let's give it size as 16 dp let's change this text to ma.androiddeveloper.com but as you can see my email id is not appearing properly so we need to change the height of our cover page right so go to above and from here you can see the width and height when you click on the height it shows the this link so you can change it from here or else you can go to the name folder and from navigation header height you can change the height of this variable I will change the height to 180dp now as you can see it is appearing fine right now close this file and let's run the program and see what output it gives navigation drawer it shows me arc navigation drawer and this is my profile image this is background image this is my name and this is my uh, mail ID, website, whatever you want, you can call it. And then here are my by default options, right? Now I think our navigation drawer has been created successfully. Let's work with uh, these options. How we can do action, perform action with by using these options, right? So let's go to content and scope main dot xml, and from here, uh, what actually this file is containing? This is by default layout which our application contains, right? If you go to our uh, emulator, this is this layout, right? So what, whatever we will show in this layout will be appear in our application, this file. So we don't need this text view, let's create here a frame layout. I'll explain you why we are creating this frame layout. Let's give it max parent and let's give it id as frame layout underscore one. Right. Now we don't need to. Huh? Uh, why we have created this frame layout? Because when we are uh, working with navigation drawer, we need to work with fragments. Why fragments? Because as you can see, this whole is our activity, right? And our activity is containing this navigation drawer. Now, 
if we if i click on if i want to click on this option and go to another activity at that time i need to create one more activity which will create a navigation drawer right this will become more complex process so to simplify this we had the concept of fragments what we will do we will create a here frame layout in this main activity we will create here a frame layout and then we will create the multiple fragments for example i will create a first fragment for this option import when i will click on this option the fragment will appear in this frame layout which means we will work over with only one activity and multi multiple fragments right when i will create one more fragment uh, second fragment and when i will click on gallery option here i will display an second fragment right and uh, we will have only one activity in which we are using all types of different uh, fragments right right and we will have, have only one activity through which we are interacting with that fragment so i will show you practically so only that's the reason uh, for that for which i had created here a frame layout so go to this our main activity folder and let's create a new fragment yeah as you can see here i am having the option of fragment let's create a blank fragment i will give fragment name as fragment underscore first right finish see our first fragment has been successfully created this is our kotlin file and this is our xml file right let's go close this all the xml files let's make some changes in our xml file here i have i am having a text view something happened that's the reason preview ah, as you can see this is our preview and let's change the uh, size of our text view let's change it to 40 dp and this is our fragment right let's go to kotlin file there are some boilerplate code which we don't need in order to use this fragment for now let's remove this all unwanted code options right so here i had created a fragment program this is our xml file of that fragment program right so let's go to our navigation header underscore main file here as you can see this is our main.kt file of navigation drawer go down and here you can see we have used an when case in kotlin we use when case in, instead of switch case so go out of that and here we need to in order to use fragment we need to create a function just name it as load flag one and here we need to pass an object of our fragment first file that we had created a uh, few minutes ago and in this we need to create a variable let's create a value fm equals to let's use the method of support fragment support fragment manager dot begin transaction because we need to transact our activity our fragment right when i click on that button it should go to our first fragment so i, I will use begin transaction method and then object of that dot replace we need to replace our frame layout with that uh, fragment right so our resource dot id dot we need to pass here the object of our frame layout which i had given as frame layout underscore one and comma and then object of our of our fragment which i had created here in my method that is frag one so frag one right oh sorry for that here spelling mistake frag one and now we need to use commit uh, method to commit our this method commit our this function right now we need to call this method from here when case whenever i will click on this gallery this is id of my gallery option from our navigation bar whenever i will click on this option at that time it should be navigated to our uh, fragment first fragment right so we will call this method here load fragment one and then we will we need to pass here the object of our first fragment so fragment one is optional of first fragment and equals to fragment underscore first this our class now i think our program is ready to run and let's run the program and see if it is working or not
and when I click on my navigation drawer, it shows me arc navigation view and as you can see uh, this in background, this is our main uh, XML file and here I had created frame layout which is uh, I can see here now but when I click on my gallery option, it will be navigated to my fragment, right? You can see activity is same, uh, we are working with single activity but uh, we are using multiple fragments when I click on this gallery option it goes to that fragment right and when I click on import option it does nothing because we had not created any fragment for this our camera option or slideshow manage share send this all options right uh, so you can uh, use this arc navigation drawer in this way you can create it and uh, make your application more attractive for the user and you can create multiple fragments and interact with all these buttons in navigation bar right so uh, in this way you can create a navigation drawer and uh, make your, your application user friendly and in or if uh, you feel any query or problem while doing this or uh, if you have any uh, problem uh, you can ask me anytime you can comment me or you can mail me uh, my mail address I will give you in description so uh, thanks for watching hope you like this tutorial